It's designed to be capable of building a city on the moon or Mars. Why is the goal right now to get to Mars before the moon? We'll probably get to the moon first. I think we should build a city on the moon. When you think of the moon, what comes to mind? A barren, lifeless rock? You might think you know everything about it, but you would be wrong. In fact, Elon Musk has some surprising revelations about our nearest celestial companion. In this video, we'll take a look at what Elon Musk has said about the moon and why he believes it's not what we think it is. We will also explore some of the implications of Musk's claims and what they could mean for the future of space exploration. What does Elon Musk have to say about the moon? Is something secretly going on up there? Let's find out. In recent times, there have been numerous space missions to the moon, both manned and unmanned, to study its surface, geology, and other properties. Although a lot of research and discoveries have been made, there are still many mysteries about the moon that scientists are working tirelessly to uncover. For example, the moon's origin is not yet fully understood, and there is ongoing research into its internal structure, magnetic field, and other properties. Additionally, there is interest in the possibility of using the Moon as a base for future space exploration and even colonization. NASA's Apollo program in the 1960s and 1970s is perhaps the most well-known mission to the Moon, with astronauts landing on the lunar surface and conducting experiments. Since then, many other countries and space agencies have sent missions to the Moon, including China, which has made several successful lunar landings in recent years. Over the years, there have been many missions to the Moon conducted by various countries and space agencies, including the Luna program, a series of unmanned missions to the Moon conducted by the Soviet Union between 1959 and 1976. The program included both orbiters and landers, and the Luna 1 spacecraft was the first human-made object to reach the vicinity of the Moon in 1959. Also, there was the Apollo program, a series of manned missions to the Moon conducted by NASA between 1969 and 1972. The program included six Apollo missions that landed astronauts on the Moon, with the first landing taking place on July 20, 1969. Following that, we saw the emergence of the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, a NASA spacecraft that has been orbiting the Moon since 2009. The LRO has provided detailed maps of the lunar surface and has helped to identify potential landing sites for future missions. Furthermore, NASA came up with a program called the Artemis Program that aims to return humans to the Moon by 2024, with the goal of establishing a sustainable human presence on the lunar surface. The program includes manned and unmanned missions and will involve the development of new technologies and partnerships with commercial and international partners. In all of this, China was not left out as it came up with the Chang'e program, a series of unmanned lunar missions conducted by the China National Space Administration CNSA. The program includes both orbiters and landers, and the Chang'e-4 mission achieved the first soft landing on the far side of the moon in 2019. Hang on a sec, let's take a moment to go back in time. When did the space race really begin? The United States and the Soviet Union competed in the space race in the 20th century to develop greater spaceflight capabilities. It was born out of the two countries' post-World War II nuclear arms competition based on ballistic missiles. Because spaceflight revealed a technological advancement that was deemed essential for NACL year on July 30, 1955, the competition officially began. The Soviet Union retaliated four days later by announcing they would also launch a satellite shortly after. Since the end of World War II, improvements in ballistic missile capabilities have made satellite launches possible. The Sputnik crisis, which occurred after the USSR launched Sputnik 1, its first satellite successfully, on October 4, 1957, brought the competition to the attention of the Western public. With the orbital mission of Vostok 1 on April 12, 1961, the USSR launched Yuri Gagarin, the first human, into space giving the movement momentum. Over the few years that followed, the Soviets succeeded in a number of more early firsts. But the United States is not one who will stand down. On May 25, 1961, U.S. President John F. Kennedy raised the stakes by requesting that the U.S. Congress committed to the objective of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth before the end of the decade. This was a result of Gagarin's flight. 
Both nations started working on extremely heavy lift launchers. The US was the first to successfully use the Saturn V, which was big enough to deliver a three-person orbiter and a two-person lander to the moon. With the mission of Apollo 11, Kennedy's goal of landing on the moon was accomplished in July 1969, and Americans thought this solitary accomplishment surpassed all Soviet accomplishments. However, this viewpoint is often divisive, with others believing that the first man in space was a considerably greater accomplishment. In an effort to launch and land on the moon before the US, the USSR undertook two crewed lunar programs. However, they were unsuccessful with their N-1 rocket, and they eventually scrapped both in favor of Salyut, the first space station program, and the first landings on Venus and Mars. In the meantime, the U.S. conducted robotic research on other extraterrestrial bodies while landing five additional Apollo teams on the moon. Unfortunately, ever since the last moon landing, about five decades ago, nations have been silent with no new visits to the moon until recently. From all indications, it is obvious that the space race is not ending anytime soon. This is because there are a whole lot of things yet undiscovered about the celestial bodies that surround our dear planet. As a result, the US, China, other countries, and even private companies are working tirelessly and investing lots of fortune to explore the moon and other celestial bodies. But do you think this competition and rivalry would allow for transparency? Of course not. Any nation would want to withhold any useful information that would give them the upper hand while they engage in further research. However, Elon Musk recently revealed that Chinese scientists have been keeping a secret about the moon. Among his claims, was that they have found evidence of alien life on the lunar surface. Musk said that he was given this information by a source who is close to the Chinese government. Although he has not provided any evidence to support his claims, they have caused a lot of speculation online. If Musk's claims are true, it would be a major discovery. It would mean that there is life beyond Earth and it would change our understanding of the universe. It would also raise a lot of questions about the nature of this alien life and how it came to be on the moon. This was not the only thing Elon Musk revealed though, ride along as we unravel more. It is important to note that Musk has not provided any evidence to support his claims. He has not released any photos or videos of the evidence, and he has not named his source. It is also important to note that the Chinese government has not confirmed Musk's claims. Some people believe that Musk is simply trying to get attention, while others think that he may be onto something. Regardless, Elon Musk is a brilliant businessman and engineer, and he has a keen interest in space exploration. Only time will tell if Musk's claims are true. If they are, it would be a major discovery that would change our understanding of the universe. But why has Elon Musk developed so much interest in this? Well, Elon Musk has been a vocal proponent of colonizing Mars for many years. He has always believed life could exist outside of Mother Earth. As a result, we would not be surprised to see him show so much interest in moon exploration. Musk has stated that he believes that becoming a multi-planetary species is essential for the long-term survival of humanity and that Mars is the most viable planet for human colonization in the near future. Through his company SpaceX, Musk has been working on developing the technology needed to transport humans to Mars and establish a sustainable human presence on the planet. This includes the development of the Starship spacecraft, which is designed to be fully reusable and capable of carrying up to 100 people at a time. Musk's plans for Mars colonization involve establishing a self-sustaining city on the planet with the goal of eventually having millions of people living and working there. To achieve this, he has proposed a number of innovative ideas, such as using local resources to produce fuel and other necessary materials, and even terraforming the planet to make it more hospitable to human life. While there are many challenges to overcome before humans can successfully colonize Mars, such as developing the necessary life support systems and protecting astronauts from the harsh radiation environment, Musk's ambitious plans have helped to inspire a new generation of space enthusiasts and have brought renewed attention to the possibility of human exploration and settlement of other planets. The mysteries of outer space continue to captivate the brightest minds of humanity. That is why numerous space agencies have ramped up their exploration plans for the next decade. Among the countries involved in these endeavors are the United States, China, and Russia. Even private space agencies like Elon Musk's SpaceX have joined the race, leading to collaborations between them. 
Recently, an intriguing collaboration took place between Elon Musk and China. Following leaks from the Tesla and SpaceX CEO, a shocking discovery made by China on the far side of the moon was unveiled. This discovery raises questions about what China found and why it was kept under wraps. Could this be evidence of extraterrestrial life? The China National Space Administration has been making significant strides in space exploration, giving NASA a run for its money. China has even constructed its own space station, adding to its impressive achievements. During their lunar exploration, China stumbled upon a remarkable discovery, a secret that Elon Musk later leaked to the world. In response to the leak, the China National Space Administration and China Atomic Energy Authority came together to make an official announcement, addressing the leaked information and unveiling the astonishing news to the world. The announcement revealed that Chinese scientists, during their research on the moon, had stumbled upon a remarkable breakthrough. In the course of their exploration, they unearthed the sixth new lunar material, christened Chang'ate. This extraordinary mineral was found by scientists at the Beijing Research Institute of Uranium Geology. It was stumbled upon while they were examining surface samples collected by China's Chang'e 5 robotic mission. To authenticate its uniqueness, the material has been certified by the International Mineralogical Association and its Commission on New Minerals at Nomenclature and Classification. Musk mentioned that Chang'et, belonging to the lunar miralite category, holds special significance. It marks the first lunar material to be discovered and observed by Chinese scientists, placing China in the esteemed company of the United States and Russia as the third nation to make such a remarkable find. The mineral sample, a solitary crystalline particle measuring a mere 10 microns in diameter, was painstakingly separated from over 140,000 tiny particles. Subsequently, it underwent thorough analysis using advanced mineralogical methods. The mission that led to this incredible discovery is the remarkable Chang'e 5 robotic mission. This groundbreaking expedition was launched from the Wenchang Space Launch Center in South China's Hainan province. After a breathtaking journey, it successfully touched down on the moon, becoming the third spacecraft in the 21st century to achieve this feat, following its Chinese predecessors, Chang'e 3 and 4. This space mission, which lasted for 23 days, proved to be one of China's most daring and demanding ventures into space. Its objective was to collect lunar rocks and soil, and it triumphantly returned with a payload of 1731 grams, a monumental achievement. Notably, it had been an astounding 46 years since the last lunar substances were brought back from our celestial neighbor. The China National Space Administration took charge of distributing the first batch of lunar samples obtained by Chang'e 5. These samples, each weighing 17.5 grams, were meticulously divided into 21 lots and provided to researchers from 13 domestic research organizations. These esteemed scientists were working on an impressive array of 31 scientific projects related to the moon. The significance of this accomplishment etched China's name into the annals of history. Collaboration was key in this momentous endeavor, as experts from various departments, including the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Ministry of Education, and Ministry of Natural Resources, united their efforts to study the moon samples. The outcome of their research revealed that these minuscule moon crystals are over a billion years old, with a width comparable to that of human hair. Such a profound revelation serves to deepen our understanding of the moon's geological history and composition, paving the way for further scientific exploration and discovery. The remarkable findings from the Chang'e 5 moon mission left scientists at the International Mineralogical Association astounded. Their analyses confirmed that the minuscule moon crystal possesses a composition unlike anything seen before. It is intricately connected to other minerals exclusively found on the moon or within meteorites. These significant scientific milestones have not only enhanced our understanding of the moon's origin and evolution, but have also laid the groundwork for exploring the effective utilization of lunar resources. However, this astonishing revelation was not the sole shock uncovered during the moon mission. There was another groundbreaking discovery that caught the attention of none other than Musk, the prominent advocate for clean energy. Among the approximately 140,000 lunar particles meticulously examined from the Chang'e 5 moon rock hall, scientists and researchers stumbled upon traces of helium-3. 
This variant of helium is uncommon on Earth, but is believed to be abundant on the Moon. It has been envisioned as a potential fuel source capable of revolutionizing the production and utilization of clean and efficient energy on our planet. This revelation sheds light on why Musk deliberately leaked the information to the public. Renewable energy is undoubtedly gaining importance and high prospects for renewable energy as we look to the future. Elon Musk believes that the future belongs to renewable energy and because fossil fuels are a limited resource, their usage is already having a negative impact on the environment. Renewable energy sources like wind and solar energy are plentiful and can be used sustainably. As to changes expected in the future in terms of renewable energy, renewable energy will keep improving in terms of efficiency and cost effectiveness. The cost of solar and wind energy systems has already decreased significantly over the past few years, and this trend will continue. Energy storage technology will also increase, enabling humans to use renewable energy sources more effectively when they are available. When compared to battery technology and how it relates to renewable energy, the wide-scale deployment of renewable energy depends on battery technology. As intermittent sources of energy, solar and wind only provide power when the sun is out or the wind is blowing. We can use the excess energy produced at these times by storing it in batteries to use later, such as during periods of high demand or when the sun is not shining. This makes renewable energy more dependable and economical. Battery technology, for example, has been a stronghold for Tesla. Undoubtedly, throughout the years, Tesla has made considerable strides in battery technology. For instance, Tesla created its own batteries, which are more effective and last longer than conventional batteries. Additionally, created the Powerwall, a battery storage technology that enables homes to store extra energy produced by solar panels for later use. In order to sustainably provide our energy demands, we must increase the number of solar cells, wind turbines, and battery storage units. Better regulations and incentives are also required to promote the use of renewable energy. All these, and many more, are some of the things that drive Elon Musk on a high speed into the future. This young man is definitely not backing down. For several years, scientists have marveled at the discovery of helium-3 and its potential as a fuel source for nuclear fusion, which is a remarkable form of energy production that occurs when two light atoms combine to form a single, heavier atom under conditions of extreme heat and pressure. The prospect of harnessing helium-3 as a fuel for nuclear fusion has sparked great interest and intrigue. Its unique properties and abundance on the moon open up possibilities for a future energy revolution. Musk's decision to share this information with the public signifies the potential it holds for transforming our energy landscape, paving the way for cleaner, more sustainable, and more efficient energy generation. While fusion is a natural process that occurs within the core of stars, scientists have yet to develop a fusion reactor that can generate more energy than is invested into it. However, Helium-3 emerges as a highly promising fuel source for fusion, as it produces considerably less radiation and nuclear waste compared to other elements. According to Musk, Helium-3 does exist on Earth, but in limited quantities. In contrast, it is believed to be more abundant on the Moon, where it has been directly deposited onto the lunar soil over billions of years by the solar wind. The European Space Agency highlights that, despite the absence of viable reactors to utilize helium-3, a lunar resource race has already begun. Numerous spacefaring nations and private companies, including the United States and China, have expressed keen interest in mining the moon for its helium-3. The discovery of a new helium-3 deposit by Chang'e 5 on the moon could accelerate the global competition to exploit the moon's mineral resources. This revelation has undoubtedly pushed the boundaries of space exploration and resource utilization. Aside from his endeavors in clean and efficient energy, Musk has also revealed plans to establish human settlements on the moon as part of his vision to expand human civilization beyond Earth's confines. His ambitious plans align with the growing understanding that the moon holds great potential for sustaining human life. Moreover, Chang'e 5's further exploration of the moon's surface has led to the detection of water. This finding raises the exciting question of whether humanity could potentially survive and thrive on the moon. The presence of water opens up possibilities for sustaining future lunar missions and establishing long-term human presence, further stimulating scientific curiosity and exploration.
For many years, scientists and researchers believed the moon to be an arid, waterless celestial body. However, thanks to the efforts of the Chinese lunar lander, a groundbreaking discovery was made, water on the moon's surface. This is not mere speculation. Scientists have confirmed the presence of water on the lunar terrain. During its mission, Chang'e 5 collected over 60 ounces of soil and rock samples from the moon, unveiling not only rare minerals, but also the remarkable finding of water. Before returning to Earth, Chang'e 5 had already employed its onboard instruments to take crucial measurements. Even from a distance of 239,000 miles away, scientists on Earth deduced that the space probe had likely encountered water on the moon. Water, being a vital resource for human survival and a life-sustaining ingredient, is not typically expected to be found in the depths of space. Its scarcity or unavailability in space poses a significant challenge for exploring the final frontier, necessitating extensive preparations. This newfound discovery has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of lunar resources. In order to delve deeper into this phenomenon, scientists embarked on further research to investigate whether the trace amounts of water found on the moon could be harnessed for use by astronauts during extended missions away from Earth. A team of researchers, led by scientists from the Institute of Geology and Geophysics at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, delved into the wealth of data collected by Chang'e 5, seeking to unlock the secrets of lunar water. The intriguing findings from Chang'e 5's data analysis revealed intriguing signs of water, as indicated by the space probe's readings. Scientists identified the presence of H2O molecules based on the distinctive way they reflected or absorbed the sun's radiation, known as spectral reflectance. These results left an impression on Dr. Mike Ziegler, a senior scientist at the Planetary Science Institute in Tucson, Arizona. Dr. Siegler suggested that there might be a greater amount of water on the moon than previously believed. The unfolding phenomena and ongoing discoveries have reshaped scientists' understanding of lunar water. Contrary to the initial assumption made when the Apollo astronauts returned to Earth in 1969, where it was believed that the moon was entirely devoid of water, subsequent missions and trips to the moon have challenged this notion. The Indian Space Research Organization's Chandrayaan-1 mission, for instance, detected signs of hydration on the sunless lunar surface. However, at the time, it was difficult to ascertain whether it was H2O or its chemical relative, hydroxyl. Casey Honnabal, a NASA postdoctoral fellow, likened hydroxyl to a substance associated with drain cleaners, adding to the intriguing nature of the discovery. Furthermore, additional missions have made noteworthy findings, uncovering ice in the challenging-to-reach craters located near the moon's poles. These craters are perpetually shadowed, providing a conducive environment for the preservation of ice. Such discoveries prompted scientists to revisit the famed Apollo samples, re-examining them with newfound curiosity. During this analysis, water molecules were detected within glass beads and minerals contained within the samples. This revelation brought both excitement and confusion as it challenged the earlier notion of the moon's aridity. Some scientists raised doubts and skepticism regarding the presence of water, questioning whether it actually originated from the moon or was merely a result of moisture contamination in Houston, Texas. However, subsequent phenomena unfolded to provide further evidence. A month prior to the Chinese lunar lander's water discovery, NASA made an announcement of its own, confirming the existence of water in a sunlit region of the Moon without physically reaching the lunar surface. NASA achieved this feat by sending a high-altitude aircraft, known as the SOFIA, up to an impressive altitude of 45,000 feet. From this vantage point, SOFIA utilized its advanced infrared technology to observe distinct wavelength signals emitted by water molecules. The telescope's findings hinted at the possibility of water being widespread across the Moon, not solely confined to its polar regions, as previous measurements had suggested. The mystery surrounding the Moon's surface deepened when China's Chang'e 5 mission made another intriguing discovery. Besides shedding light on unresolved phenomena, the Chang'e 5 rover, known as U-22, also debunked certain mysteries, including the enigmatic mystery hut found on the moon in November 2021. Initially spotted from a distance, the small square object appeared to resemble a hut, prompting its intriguing moniker. Scientists were eager to unravel the secrets behind this peculiar structure, 
so they sent the rover for a closer examination. However, as U-22 approached the mystery hut, it became evident that it was not a man-made shelter, but rather an ordinary moon rock. The rock, later renamed the Jade Rabbit due to its resemblance to a rabbit, had played a game of light and shadow, creating the illusion of a small building with a flat roof. Therefore, Musk, the visionary behind SpaceX, is tirelessly working towards his ambitious goals, including facilitating NASA's return to the moon by 2025. However, China likewise harbors long-held aspirations to establish a lunar presence, not merely to claim a moon base, but also to propel nuclear-powered rockets into space in the future. The Asian powerhouse believes that this would ultimately pave the way for colonization and enhanced exploration of the final frontier. China's endeavors have not gone unanswered, as they are now planning to construct their first moon base by 2028 with plans to send astronauts there in subsequent years. China's moon base is set to be a remarkable feat, powered by nuclear energy to address its long-term high-power energy requirements. Its design will consist of a lander, hopper, orbiter, and rover, with all the necessary tools constructed through the Chang'e 6, 7, and 8 missions. The chief designer of China's lunar exploration program, Wu Weiren, confidently predicts that Chinese astronauts will be able to set foot on the moon within a decade. As for the utilization of nuclear energy to power the moon base, he asserts that it is the best option for meeting the station's energy needs. China's accomplishments in recent years have put them in the global spotlight, from successful lunar probes to building their own space station and preparing for Mars exploration. Their ambitious plans have positioned them as formidable competitors to NASA's dominance in space exploration. Meanwhile, NASA continues to make strides, with a rover currently on the Red Planet and aspirations to send astronauts back to the Moon within this decade. Both China and the United States are investing billions of dollars in their lunar missions, not only to explore the Moon and its resources, but also to advance space travel to Mars. China's focus lies in constructing a moon base at the lunar South Pole, a region deemed most suitable for accessing water, an essential resource. Furthermore, China envisions expanding its base into an international research station. With this goal in mind, China has already set forth a roadmap for robotic lunar and deep space exploration. Several upcoming missions will deploy landers, orbiters, and relay satellites, and test key technologies required for the construction of China's International Lunar Research Station in the 2030s. Initially, the ILRS will serve as a robotic base, becoming permanently habitable after 2035. In the coming years, China is set to take significant strides in their lunar exploration efforts. Building upon the success of the Chang'e 5 lunar sample return mission in 2020, Chang'e 6 has been planned as a follow-up mission. Scheduled for 2026, Chang'e 6 aims to retrieve up to 2 kilograms of material from the lunar far side's South Pole Aitken Basin. To overcome engineering challenges, the landing site will likely be situated at a similar latitude to the Chang'e 4 mission's landing in the von Karman crater on the lunar far side. Additionally, a new lunar relay satellite will be launched to ensure seamless communication with missions targeting the vicinity of the Moon's South Pole. And around the same time in 2026, Chang'e 7 will take flight, equipped with an orbiter, lander, rover, and a mini flying detector. This comprehensive mission will delve into studying lunar topography, material composition, and the environment. The mini flying detector will play a crucial role in identifying the presence of water ice, focusing on permanently shadowed areas in the lunar south pole. These missions aim to unlock the secrets of the moon's unexplored regions. Looking further ahead, Chang'e 8 is projected to launch by 2028, serving as a testbed for in situ resource utilization and 3D printing technologies. This mission signifies China's commitment to exploring the potential of utilizing lunar resources and advancing cutting-edge technologies. China is also preparing for a crewed lunar landing in 2030, planning to send three astronauts to the moon. This ambitious endeavor will involve two launches of a new generation crew launch vehicle. Two of the astronauts will have the opportunity to set foot on the lunar surface for approximately six hours, conducting scientific experiments and gathering valuable data. Both lunar landers and spacecraft for this mission are currently undergoing development. To support these extensive lunar exploration plans, 
the China International Lunar Research Station will be established. Spanning the early 2030s, the ILRS will witness five launches dedicated to placing orbit and surface infrastructure for energy, communications, in-situ resource utilization, and other advanced technologies. These missions will require the formidable lifting capacity of the Long March 9th, a super-heavy lift rocket. Excitingly, Chinese officials have announced that they are redesigning the Long March 9th to make it reusable. While it remains certain that Musk is involved in China's moon projects, it is also evident that the Chinese space agency has a bright future ahead with numerous discoveries and advancements on the horizon. And as this journey into the enigmatic world of Elon Musk and his discoveries about the moon continues, one thing has become abundantly clear. The moon is not what we think it is. Despite the fact that we have been watching it since the beginning of time, the moon continues to astonish us. The moon still contains a molten core that it formed approximately 4.5 billion years ago. Therefore, it is far from being the cold, dead or inert body we thought it was. The moon's crust wrinkles as it cools down and continues to contract. According to research published by scientists from Maryland, that contraction along with gravitational pressures is responsible for moonquakes that measure up to 5 on the Richter scale. All of this lends credence to the idea that the moon was not formed along with the rest of the solar system, but rather as a result of a collision between the primordial Earth and another planet. Musk's vision and relentless pursuit of knowledge have opened our minds to a universe of possibilities. According to experts, the moon's secrets might only just be the beginning and our universe continues to be full of many awe-inspiring wonders that will shake the very foundations of our understanding of the cosmos. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.